this is the movie that almost put Jackie Chan in jail and even affected the finances of a country. When the movie was filmed in Morocco, it required a lot of prop money, but Jackie Chan wanted to do it best, resulting in these prop money almost indistinguishable from real money. Unexpectedly, due to the crew's lack of management, the prop money flowed into community in large quantities. As a result, the Moroccan police summoned Jackie Chan for counterfeiting and confiscated all the film negatives. The crew quickly hired a lawyer to negotiate, stating that you have arrested the international superstar Jackie Chan, who was filming, and finally the producer manager used three months of jail life to exchange for Jackie Chan and the film negatives. However, this is a movie with a cost of 115 million that almost sent Jackie Chan to prison, and it won the highest box office of Chinese films worldwide. Archaeologist Jackie Chan this time intruded into the indigenous territory of America, where the rules are very strange. Intruders must marry the princess of the chief, and this man is the last intruder. Jackie Chan saw how terrible it was and immediately wanted to escape. The man who was here just now was desperate because no one had replaced him to marry the princess. Jackie Chan, who escaped, soon received a new task. In the 1940s, German General Rommel buried 240 tons of gold in a base in the Sahara Desert. The Earl promised Jackie Chan that if he could find the gold, he would give him 1%, at least 1 million with two and a half tons of gold. Jackie Chan received a key to open the base and another geologist named Ida helped him. Ida gave Jackie Chan a photo, on which was the officer who led 18 guards to hide the gold. Although more than 40 years have passed, the officer may still be alive. So Jackie Chan decided to sneak into his house to find clues. But when the host came back, Jackie Chan was directly stunned. The person coming was not the officer, but a beauty. Where are the German officers? In reality, there was not only Jackie Chan who snuck into the room in the middle of the night, but also two Arab men. Unlike Jackie, they did not hide, but rather kidnapped the beautiful woman when they saw her. Jackie is there, so he'll kick the two men's butt. He beats one with three punches and two kicks. But the other points a gun at Jackie, no matter how skilled he is, fears firearms. Actually, the two Arab men are also here to find gold, and their goal is the gold-like beauty, who is actually the granddaughter of the military officer, Elsa. Jackie grabbed their weapons when they were off guard. And the two Arab men, feeling that their mission was unfinished, were about to commit suicide with poison. Jackie, very kind, did not kill them, but just chased them away. After this incident, Elsa also wanted to go to the desert with Jackie to find out how her grandfather died. When they arrived in Morocco, they unexpectedly encountered the two Arab men again, and there were also mercenaries who joined the group. They sneaked into Elsa's room while she was taking a bath, hoping to find the map from her computer, but Jackie was right behind them. Elsa found someone outside and when Jackie pushed open the door, she hit Jackie without hesitation. When the light was turned on, she realized that she had accidentally hit the wrong person. At this time, the two mercenaries threatened them to hand over the map and the key. Coincidentally, the Arab men also had their eyes on Elsa's room. They struggled to climb up, but were thrown down the window by the mercenaries. Jackie took advantage of this opportunity and defeated one of the mercenaries. Elsa also escaped with the key at this time. To avoid the mercenaries, she put the key under the floor. Just dropped on the straw, Ada thought to pick it up, but the whole person fell down by accident. Ada was only wearing a bathrobe, and now the bathrobe is in Elsha's hands, so everyone should be able to guess what Ada looks like now. Ada can only become a conjoined baby with Jackie Chan. At this time, the hotel owner brought a machine gun over. People here are very fierce, so it's common to have weapons in the hotel. Elsha bought the machine gun and went crazy.
which finally drove away the mercenaries. The next day, they headed deep into the desert. On the way, they met a tour guide who was familiar with the local road conditions. But when they arrived at their destination, they were stunned. Where is the base buried with gold? How can there be nothing but sand only? After searching for a while, Jackie Chan found the real secret base and indeed found Elsa's grandfather inside. In the grandfather's diary, they learned that there were 18 assistants originally, but there were only 17 bodies found. This means that one assistant escaped. The one who escaped is a man named Adolf, who hired a group of mercenaries to hunt down Jackie Chan and claim the gold as his own. However, when they saw the gold, they were all stunned. How much of 240 tons gold worth? For maximum calculation, the leader of the mercenaries betrayed and ordered his subordinates to carry away the gold bars. Adolf, driving his wheelchair, crashed into the switch, causing the base door to close instantly leaving Jackie Chan and two mercenaries inside. Coincidentally, they ended up in the wind tunnel where the Germans used to test fighter planes. The three women came to the control room at Adolf's reminder, but they did not know how to operate and only pressed buttons randomly. And so, the wind in the wind tunnel blows in one direction and then blows in the opposite direction. The wind blows Jackie Chan's character everywhere. They find a red button, which should be the mechanism to stop the wind. However, they didn't realize that these buttons are used to destroy the base and it will explode in 30 minutes. Adolf knows the mechanism here, he gave Jackie a gesture, and the two immediately understood each other. Jackie flew over and punched one of the mercenary. Adolf felt that one punch was not enough, he wanted to punish these traitors, so he controlled the wind direction to let Jackie kick the mercenary. This way, the two mercenaries were trapped here, but as the time of explosion approached, Adolf decided to blow up the vent and then use the wind to go up. However, Adolf didn't want to escape, he had been obsessed with gold. But at this moment he suddenly realized that he should have died here decades ago. It was time to find the old friends. With the explosion sound, the four were thrown out of the vent, but outside was an endless desert. Coincidentally, two Arabs were just here, but they no longer had the strength to kill Jackie. After drinking the last drop of water, they couldn't even run. In the next time, they could only look for an oasis in the desert together. The Flying Eagle project was very international more than 30 years ago, with its car chasing and fighting, and using the wind tunnel to form visual humor techniques, no one else could think of besides director Jackie Chan. It is these full of sense of the times colors and shots, that gave us the dream of a colorful movie in our youth. This movie from 20 years ago reflects many social problems that exist today. For example, what is society and what are the social problems that we should be aware of? It says many things that are going to happen. The Arabs finally just need water. Who knows if we will also just need water in the end. No matter what kind of revolutionaries, they all have to drink water first. Oil and gold are good, but they both cause trouble in the end. Iran, Iraq, and Libya all seem to have appeared in the Project Eagle. Today, the Islamic world is plagued by conflicts, the war between Russia and Ukraine. Kiev is bracing for a new Russian offensive. And the chaos in Africa. The domination of high-tech in the military world determines the direction of the political world and the resulting social problems and party struggles. Good things are things that can withstand the test of time. Although Jackie Chan made entertainment movies, they do have a therapeutic effect on society. There are no pure art films anymore, just commercial films with added human thoughts. Pure art films marginalize themselves. Being too artistic inevitably leads to a separation from humanity. And in the end, each goes their own way.